It started with a seven-point gap to Manchester City in the league, and now it's four points with one game to go. We also played against Barcelona in the Champions League semi-finals, beating them 3-1 in the matchup at Anfield after drawing in the first game. Darwin Nunez shot us straight through into the finale of the Champions League. And now, my friends, Liverpool is on a mission. After winning the FA Cup against Sheffield United in the finale, the Champions League finale will be against Manchester City, our bitter rivals of this season. But there's one thing we gotta do when we do look at this league table. It is the fact that we need to hope and pray that City and their season falls apart in the last few games. One matchup against Brighton, one against Crystal Palace, and then the Champions League finale. That's all we got for today. And it's all I ever need. Brighton could potentially line up with this right here. Angel Gomez joining them from Lille. That man is English and he has played in the English national team lately. And people have been like, who is this kid? This little guy on the pitch. Well, let me tell you, he's been really good in France for multiple years now. And now it seems like a lot more English teams are interested in him. For top scorers, it's Erling Haaland, clearly at the top in the Premier League. But in the Champions League, there's a direct battle between Darwin Nunez and Erling Haaland, both on 13 goals, even though Nunez has played three games less. There is one man I'm looking at today that I need to see step up, and that is Mohamed Salah. Lately, he has been very quiet. You guys have been seeing it as well. He started off into the season so well, and now... Things have slowed down massively. I know it might be his age. It might be him going down and rating. Went down to an 87. Went back up to an 88. Which shows me that he still wants it. But buddy, today is the day. Titles on the line. Multiples. So let's see if you can make it happen. Hansko and also Joe Gomez will have to step up in this game. Because we have either a red card for Van der Ven or stamina issues for Konate. Chiesa on the left. Salah on the right. Davi Nunez is up top Trent with the captain C three games to go Liverpool this is it can you win more trophies two trophies this season would be massive already FA Cup and Champions League possibly but the Premier League if Man City slip up one more time anything is possible my friends oh Chiesa that is exceptional Chiesa playing because Hakbo is currently tired Salah, go on then, Egyptian king. Yes, Egyptian king. When I need you the most, you needed to step up. And that's exactly what we're getting from Mo Salah right here. David Nunez ruining his hair, but it's all good. A man is a legend. And I actually am kind of dreading the day where Mo Salah, Van Dijk, and all these incredible players leave Liverpool. Their legacy is going to be incredible. Oh. Hold up, Joe Gomez needs to get across. Woo, we get quite lucky there. Chiesa looking for Darwin again. Darwin with the instant finish. I love how Darwin has developed throughout this season, man. Jota was the number one, but Darwin has really replaced him nicely. Mo Salah to whip the cross in for the corner. Darwin at the near post. Darwin! Since when do you score headers? Salah gets the assist. And Darwin gets yet another goal. He is legit climbing up the top scoring list in the Premier League in the second half of the season. He has been unstoppable. Mr. Pignan into Chiesa. What a ball. Chiesa. Darwin Nunez left footed. Needs to be 3-0. Yes, Joe Gomez. Trent wins it. Ravenberg. Off we go. Down the right hand side. What a ball from Ravenberg. Trent into the middle. Joe Gomez! What are you doing up here, pal? Oh, no. Switch players. <sighs> Darwin Nunez just about gets that one for me. Chiesa has open space to run into. Chiesa with the pace to ruin defenses. Federico Chiesa, 3-0. Liverpool are going to pick up three points out of this one. That is for sure a massive victory. Mate, I freaking love this team. Yes, Hans Cole. It might be the 88th minute. It might be 1-0. Not 1-0. 3-0. But we are still seeing our players give it their all. Davin, one more. Come on, man. 4-0. That's it. Chiesa gets yet another goal. 
Jeez, like so many people are benefiting from Davin Nunez missing. The game is over and now the big question is, what has Manchester City done? Have they already played their last game? I would assume no. Man City has not played, but we are one point behind them. If Manchester City draw or lose and we win, we go ahead and win the league title, lads. It's insane. And they are up against, as you know, at the bottom here somewhere you should be able to... No, Fulham. There we go. Fulham away from home. Is Fulham playing against... Going down? No, not really. They're in the 12th position, mid-table. Nothing to really fight for. That doesn't really give me hope. So... Let's advance. There we go. It's done. What has City done? We are now three days in. Has City played their game yet? No, they haven't. So, all right. We're going to be playing this at the same time. Good luck to both of us, but more to me, please. And for the final games of the season, I am going up to ultimate difficulty. Yes, I think this might be the dumbest thing I've done in a while. But yes, lads, ultimate difficulty. Here we go. Every single year, with every single new game, I start off on Legendary and I work my way up. And right now, we have arrived at Ultimate. Man, I am nervous. Look at that beautiful stadium. It is the full starting 11 and Kiesa has earned his way into it. Kakpo on the bench. I seriously am worried going into this. I am nervous. Last game of the season. Fans are loud as hell. Ultimate difficulty. Here we go. I probably should have increased the game length to four minutes, but three minutes halves. That basically will make it even more intense. Every single error that I make could cost me the entire season. And here they come straight away. Mickey, thank you very much. Straight into Soboslai. Darwin, you normally make that run down the middle. Let's get it. Let's get it. Chiesa. Soboslai. Strike it. Soboslai, if you ever were to score one goal in this season, that was the one I wanted. Crystal Palace playing a very odd formation right now. They're kind of standing off of my players a little bit. Sobo. Darwin. That's it. Your moment. Are you kidding me? Darwin, man, now is not the time to miss big chances. Soboslai trying to get rid of defenders. Is that a good pass into Chiesa? Chiesa? Yes, Chiesa! Go, Chiesa! Federico, everyone just going straight at the keeper, man. Two big chances missed already. What is going on here? Oh, Avibash, Trent, Chiesa at the far post. Are you kidding me? No freaking way he scored that with his head. Federico Chiesa, mate, you must be the most impactful player I've had. Seriously, like the way he just plays on that left hand side is crazy. On the right, he was okay, but on the left, Chiesa is a different beast. And that cross from Trent, bro, and the fact that he got that one into the back of the net with that angle of his body, I'm sorry, but that just shows me we're supposed to win the title. Get that away, get that away, get that away! <sighs> Crystal Palace had their chance in real life. Obviously, Liverpool just played against Crystal Palace. And we won 1-0. Palace had their chances. And their shouts for a penalty and everything. But nothing came of it. Federico Chiesa. This man is on a mission today and I love it. Ravenberg. Mo Salah. Lovely work. Chiesa. What is happening? Chiesa is injured. And is that a penalty? It's a yellow card only for La Cura, but... It's a free kick. Trent, are you ready for the moment of your life? Trent Alexander-Arnold. Oh my God, what a strike onto the freaking post, man. In the biggest game, you're stepping up and I'm loving it. Chiesa injured, but he still goes and goes and still once more. Okay, I'm taking Chiesa off. Too many players are tired. Chiesa comes off. It's also going to be Harvey Elliott coming on. Same as Musa. And you know what? Not Musa. Varela. I need defensive stability. And I am a bit worried about Salah. Do I put David on the right? Nah, I'm going to leave it for now. Harvey Elliott. I love you, brother. Come on. Let's do something special here. Kakpo goes for a beautiful shot. Good save from Henderson. Trent, one assist. Let's make it two. Let's make it two. Varela. Davin. Salah. Go on, Salah. Referee, man. What is going on? Crystal Palace is on one today. Is that going to be another yellow or is this actually a red? In my opinion, it should be a red. 
Tyreek Mitchell, get off the pitch. Trent going for the same corner again. Too much power, possibly. Oh, Trent, I'm loving it. I'm taking my sweet time here. I'm taking my sweet, sweet time. Unless they give me too much space. Oh, no. Oh, no, please don't. Crystal Palace, you're down to 10 men. There's no way you're going to do this to me. Oh, wow. I'm getting ruined. I'm getting ruined. Mickey van der Fen once. Oh my god, bro, this is the longest three minute half game I've ever played. What the hell? Ref, blow the whistle. And please tell me that City has lost or drawn, whatever. Nunez wants another one to make it clear to the world that Liverpool is going for the title. 91st minute, he's running towards the fans. The camera is inside the fan. Well done, EA. Oh boy, Arne Slot comes across and celebrates. The cop is going mad. I don't know if this means we have won the title or not, but I have done everything I possibly could. And Darwin Nunez now has actually the same amount of goals as Salah in the Premier League. Please, ref, blow the whistle and let the stadium jump up in joy. Let me lift that Premier League trophy, I beg you. Oh my God. Get that, Alisson. Ref, that's it. I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing any trophy celebration type stuff. We might have not won it, lads. The fans are still celebrating, though. Second place in the Premier League, possibly. Fulham was not capable of stopping City one more time. I was so hopeful after those celebrations, but I guess we didn't win it. What did Manchester City do? They won 3 0. Oh, man, that is harsh. That is so freaking harsh. But you know what? We have five days until the battle that is worth more than anything ever. City, I'm coming for you. And here is, in fact, the final league table. City with 91 points. We had 90. We lost less amount of games than they did, but we drew too many of them. Just one less draw and we would have been at the top of the league table. But man chasing them was fun i really like the fact that it was actually a tough challenge for liverpool for once i'm actually going to be attending the press conferences i don't know if they actually make a big difference this season um in fc 25 but i've got to say i wish they had more of an impact now i get that morale is obviously important so we're going to go ahead and do all the things necessary to basically say good things about our players. Encourage Nunez. Let's do that. Morale, very happy. We love to see it. And then probably a question about Alisson here. We're going to go celebrate Alisson's form. He's very happy as well now. Really good stuff. Let's move into the next matchup, even though I am scared of it. Let's dive into the opponent analysis then. Haaland, Grealish, Foden, De Bruyne, Kovacic, Rodrigo, Walker on the right, Ruben Diaz and Ake in the middle. Alde on the left back position, Upamecano, Memphis Depay on the bench. Di Lorenzo has joined them as well. Okay, off the bench, Savinho is the one that scares me the most. I'm surprised that Gundogan isn't playing over Kovacic, but and it, even Bernardo Silva, they, like those guys are better than Kovacic, but I guess they are recognizing our strength in attack and want to make sure they can kind of, you know, do a little bit better in defensive areas for themselves, but that team is going to be a really good one. Tactical preset for them is the Tiki Taka. Key defensive player is Ruben Dish. And then we have Haaland and Foden as the attacking players. And remember, Nunez and Haaland have the same amount of goals in the Champions League. Let's make sure we win that one. And also the golden boot for Nunez. Actually, one final look into this season stats. Davi Nunez, 41 games, 29 goals, 9 assists. Mo Salah, 28 goal contributions this season. Chiesa, 18 in 39. Possibly most of them as a substitute. Really happy with that. And John Duran, man, he has had a great record at the team. 20 games, 12 goals and one assist. I'm very impressed with him. Maka, as you all know, for me, the silent hero in this team. Defensively, his tackles, interceptions, class. World class, I should say. Harvey Elliott. Felt even better than Soboslai in terms of gameplay. Kravenberg, what a player. The performances from him in real life have also been displayed in our career mode, which I'm actually very happy with. And then going down here, Soboslai with 15 assists. Obviously, incredible numbers for Soboslai. 
Uh, but I do believe Javi would have had possibly even better numbers if he played the amount of games as a starter. And then the big hit and miss basically right here with Cavaradona. He was such a fun player to use, but man, the injury really took away from the hype towards the end of the season. Musa, decent backup, injured for a very long time. Trent, captain, leader, scouser. You, my friend, are supposed to lift that Champions League trophy now. That is the illustrious trophy, the Champions League, man. I want it so bad. The fans have put up a tifo of Fernando Torres. What a striker he was. That's... This is the moment where legends are made. We are, of course, lining up with the same team as always. Alisson, Van der Fink, Konate, Trent Estupinian, McAllister, Soboslai, Gravenberg, and then Chiesa, Nunez, and Salah. Chiesa has won the battle. The lineup that we expected for City is completely different, though. Let's dive into it together. It has Ederson in goal. In defense, we are seeing Guardiola at left back, Upamecano and Christensen at center back, Kovacic, Rodri, De Bruyne. And in attack, it's Grealish, Haaland and Foden, I, I think. I don't know who's going to be the hero in this match. I really can't tell you, but man, is this an important game for me. They have taken pretty much everything from us this season, except this trophy and the FA Cup. And we just had a massive chance, which... Might have been offside. Soboslai. Salah. Salah. Trent. Oh no. Trent the Scouser could have scored in the Champions League final, man. Trent. Go for it. Get the ball off of him, mate. We're looking for Bernardo Silva on the left. He's actually playing instead of Phil Foden. I wasn't able to see it in the starting lineups earlier on, but we are moving along nicely. Soboslai looking for Nunez. Soboslai with 15 assists. I mean, as much as I might be disrespecting him with saying that Harvey Elliott could have done better, I still want him to perform. And so do I for Salah, who attempts a bicycle kick. Sobo. Maka. Chiesa asking for it. Receiving it. Asking for Sobo's run. Inside. It's David Nunez. Exceptional play. 31 minutes in, the Uruguayan has overtaken Haaland for the top scorer. And he might have just pushed us, pushed us over the edge when it comes to winning two trophies. Soboslai gets another assist. What a pass he played on his left foot, by the way. That curled so nicely. No chance for Ederson. City, I'm taking away this trophy from you. I'm telling you, you might have taken the Premier League. I'm taking this. I'm a right on your case. Yes, Gravenberg. Nunez. He's through once again. Darwin Nunez against Upamecano. He can't stop him. Nunez chips the keeper in the most unnecessary of ways. Darwin Nunez. 2-0. He is the king of Champions League football. Unbelievable. Seriously, I didn't think that would go in, but he actually pulled it off. Liverpool fans have something to celebrate today. It might just be the Champions League trophy. The lob of dreams. He doesn't even look. He's gone off to celebrate before it actually went in. Oh, Haaland. Mickey van der Ven, get across. If you have to take him out, take him out. I'm sorry. I can't let Haaland run through on goal. I am so sorry, but I had to take it. Mickey, I... Your story with Liverpool began with you picking up a red card against us when you played for Spurs. And now it's you going ahead and picking it up in the Champions League finale. And I am now left with 10 men and 20 in-game minutes to go. So it's going to be Soboslai taken off. It's going to be Hansko coming on and also Kwanzaa. We are very tired back there. I'm also bringing on Varela to defend this. And on the left... It's going to be time for Gakpo. As long as they don't score this free kick, I'm fine. Whew. Okay, all good. Uh-oh. Kyle Walker just sprinting past me with ease. Can he find Haaland? He can, but Haaland cannot find the back of the net. Eight minutes to go. Yes, Varela. Take him all to the ground. Give me tactical fouls all over the place. I legit do not care. Another red. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to be a yellow, bro. I picked up two red cards in a Champions League final. McAllister. No one can hold him back right now. We only have, what, five minutes left here? Plus, like, with the added time in? 
And we have Kwanzaa injured. No. This cannot happen. Oh my god, bro. I'm actually scared. I am scared. There's only a couple of minutes left here. KDB gets an assist. Haaland scores. Nunez has two, though. Just a few seconds of passing it around the back. That's who I am now. You're not going to get this ball off of me. I'm going to keep this as if it was the most precious thing in my life. Here we go. Fred, blow the whistle. Two red cards and conceded from Haaland, but still managed to win the Champions League and the Golden Boot. The Scouser in the team, Trent Alexander-Arnold is the one that gets to lift this trophy, my friends. Of course he does. Trent, go ahead and do us the honors. Just like Jordan Henderson did at one point, it is now Trent lifting it. And lads, I got to tell you one thing. I think this might have been my last Liverpool career mode to start off a new FIFA. You know why? The team is too good. It's way, way too good. You have Alisson, one of the best goalkeepers in world football. You have Van Dijk and Trent, who are two of the best defenders you can have in this game. You also have the likes of Maka now in midfield with his 87 rating for me, or 88 actually. I have an insane attack with six ridiculous players. It's too easy. For me personally, it's gotten to a point where it's too easy. I used to do Liverpool career modes when we had a bad squad, a really bad squad. But I think this might be my last one for now. Next year on FC 26, I'm not going to start with Liverpool. I'm going to be picking a team that is actually struggling a little bit more. And then we can build something from there. Because what I really personally missed in this career mode was growth. Players growing into something. Building a story of a team that is not capable of winning everything. That then turns into one that can win everything. But with this Liverpool side in FC24, I can tell you right now, it's a ridiculously good one. But I'm also so excited for all the content coming your way now that isn't career mode series based. Rebuilds are going to be amazing. And I think we're going to have a new twist on them. And I can't wait for you to see. Take care and peace.